It finally came. The big one. I'm only now just realizing how how big of an event this is. I need to keep the hair out of my face. What do I look like? A hobo. Epic. Do I look like a sexy hobo at least? Not really, no. <laughs> Gah. G'day guys, it's your boy Noro Merson back again with another video and today I've got this. From the outside, this looks like a uh, bit of a mess and uh, admittedly, I once again have not covered up my shipping information. Ah! Suck my red dauber! There's a beautiful blue fairy ran outside but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for more inane ramblings and violence. I don't know if this is important, but it's getting scribbled. Anyway, this may look like it's a bit of a mess, and that's because it's come all the way from America um, to America, to Hawaii, to Melbourne, to here. Um, it's traveled more than I have. The reason it made so many stops is because I bought this package on eBay. Uh, and thanks to their wonderful authentication service, I know for a fact these are real and they have made their way to me, I was going to say safe and sound, uh, but not particularly. It literally just arrived and I have been absolutely shitting myself with excitement because this is one of my holy grail pairs of shoes. Some of you may have heard of the term Red October from movies such as The Hunt for Red October uh, and things of the like. Uh, this has nothing to do with that. Uh, the Red October I'm referring to here is actually in fact a pair of shoes. Any sneaker aficionados may be saying, <laughs> no, you're, you didn't buy Yeezy Red Octobers. You're unemployed. And you'd be correct. I did not buy Yeezy Red Octobers because I don't have $30,000 to spend on a single pair of shoes. One day. What I have here is actually a spiritual successor to the Nike Air Yeezy Red Octobers. Why is there so much tape on this box? What do they do to this poor thing? Oh, I see them in there. I see them in there. Okay. Oh, they've ruined the box. Jesus. I hope they're okay. Now, before I go any further, I want to give a bit of backstory as to why these shoes are so important. The Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red Octobers came out February 2014. If you don't know anything about shoes um, or, you know, you know, sneaker culture or anything like that, Yeezys are Kanye West designer line of shoes. And originally, from about 2011 to 2014, he was working with Nike to create different shoe models, uh, the Air Yeezys and the Air Yeezy 2s. And then he decided to cut ties in early 2014 and go with Adidas for the foreseeable future, which he has stuck with ever since. The Air Yeezy Red Octobers that came out were actually after he cut ties with Nike and Nike decided, I guess, well, oh, fuck, we've got the shoes, let's just fucking sell them. They dropped randomly out of nowhere, like four months early, and everyone went, oh shit, I better buy these. And now they're worth a, a car. You could buy a, an entire vehicle for one of these shoes. Holy shit. I'm not actually sure if a Red October colorway existed prior to the uh, AEZ 2s. There may have been like a triple red Air Max 90 or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I, I frankly don't care. So these were, I believe, the next Red October release after the Air Yeezy 2s. There may have been some foam posits or something, but we don't, we pretend those don't exist, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, what the fuck? I bought these on an eBay auction. They were, they wanted like 150 bucks. I was like, shit, it's one in the morning. I'll offer them $100. And I woke up and they'd accepted the offer. And I'm like, fuck, okay, I guess I own these now. Oh, they're gorgeous. So these, my friends, um, come with an eBay bag. I didn't know that was a thing. This is an eBay certified dust bag to put them in. That's friggin' awesome. And it's really soft, it's plush. If you get your shoes authenticated by eBay, you get one of these authenticity cards in the box. And there's a little tag on the shoe to say that yes, these shoes are indeed real. Now, this is what you've come here for. They're so pretty. God, I'm going to explode. <laughs> So yes, one of my holy grail pairs of shoes, I would like to present to you the Nike Dunk Comfort High Red October. 
Why do they smell like methadone? Now this is part of their premium range, I believe, in the Dunk High. It's weird that the Dunk High, Dunk High Comfort, Dunk High Comfort Premium, Dunk High Premium, not Comfort. I don't know. Either way, I love the color red. Red's actually my favorite color. I was going to wear a red shirt recording this and then I realized it would clash with them as I'm trying to show them off to you. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah, uh, what am I doing? If I could get out of it. These are the boys. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. I love them. And they've got the little eBay authenticity tag I was telling you about. I've had an idea. I put this too high up. Why do I only have one shoe horn? I bought some shoe trees from Ikea. It snapped and bit my finger at one point. So now I only have three of them instead of four. Gorgeous, marvelous, fiddle dee dee. There we go. It's going to get the toe box a bit more flattened out. God, they're so cool. So yes, the uh, Nike Dunk High Comfort Premium Red Octobers. So these came out about 18 months after the initial Yeezy Red October release. Took a lot of cues from them as well, with a lot of suede, a lot of star patterns on the side, as well as a special little feature in the sole that I'll have to wait till not 2 p.m. to show you. I'm doing the best I can here, but I'm also kind of stupid, so the best I can ain't the best. Look at that, that's 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 the glow in the dark right there. That's all you're getting, piss off, I don't care. Now if you look at initial release photos of these, it's a lot more consistently red across the entire shoe. These ones, given they have a lot of suede, the suede has faded and worn quite a lot. I'm not too fussed about that because I fucking hate suede. I'm gonna buy a suede brush and get it cleaned up as much as possible, of course. They've also got the little authentication stickers from eBay on the bottom. Uh, why do they use stickers that rip apart? Oh, that one doesn't have one, cool. What the fuck happened there? So I bought these used on eBay without a box. They got authenticated, so at least I know for a fact that they're real. They are a bit of a fixer-upper, but if you don't know anything about me, I absolutely love uh, fixing up shoes and things like that to make them as clean and new as possible. And I'm really looking forward to getting these absolutely buff and spick and span. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my God. I've been looking at a pair that was like US 12 for ages. And luckily I found a pair in US 13 and that way I don't have to wear really thin socks with them. And I can actually just put them on and enjoy the goddamn shoes. That's right, I'm going to wear them because I'm a psychopath. I like to wear literally every pair of shoes I have and these are definitely gonna be on my feet going forward in the future, as long as it's not raining three degrees and muddy outside as it has been for the last four days. I'm gonna come around this side to give you guys a bit more of a, uh, bit more of a personable review of the shoe. First thing I'm gonna wanna do is clean up the soles a little bit. So this is on the right shoe, you can see, uh, there's a little 50 there in black marker. I'm pretty sure these were sold at a yard sale at some point, unless it was at a sneaker con or something. One of the biggest things is the stars along the top crease of the shoe here. Basically, star loss is a great way to see how worn a pair of shoes is. The more worn down the stars are, the less you can see them, the more the shoe has obviously been worn. This one is surprisingly good. They must have had a curl on their toes because it's only worn down here and quite a lot on the inside of the shoe. So they've obviously walked like this. There are a few little, you know, nicks and cuts in the rubber. For example, on the back of the heel here on this shoe, there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of digging in. I initially thought it was cracking when I first looked at the actual shoes online, but it looks like it's just like dug into like a rock or something. So I'm actually really not fussed about that. The bottom of this shoe is actually surprisingly quite clean apart from the uh, price tag once again. That's right, these used to go for absolutely nothing before the Red October started jacking up in price and people realized that the sole of the shoe glows red in the dark. Yes, that's one of the reasons I bought it. I am a sucker for gimmicks. And the fact that this glows red makes me want to cry. Once again, it's a bit more noticeable on this shoe. The star loss is a lot more on the inside of this shoe, almost actually entirely fine on the outside. So they've definitely walked with a bit of a, uh, a, a toddler owned these shoes is what I'm trying to say. They are surprisingly straight. There's not a lot of bend or crease in the actual soles themselves. As you can see, this is all suede, especially the swoosh here. This is just like a nice mesh, which won't really show through much dirt or any kind of, you know, age. And these stars on the side here, they haven't really been, you know, he hasn't kicked it up against a wall or ridden up an escalator with the feet touching the sides or anything like that. So he's really looked after these quite well. They've got the shoe tree in here, so you won't be able to see it, but there's actually a really cool pattern. It has a unique pattern on the insole. I'd take it out and show you, but uh, I'm not going to do that, ever. Overall, 
I'd probably give these, let's say, like an 8 out of 10 in terms of quality. If I get the suede back up the scratch, you might get up to an 8.5, 9. Just don't look at the bottom of the shoe, because that'll take it down to like a 6. God, these are so pretty. I, 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 it, it's hard It's hard for me to genuinely put into words how excited I am to actually own these shoes. Because ever since I found out that there were shoes that glow red in the dark, um, I haven't stopped thinking about them. Oh shit, ow, my arm, ow. By the way, get some of these crep pills because they take all the stank out of a shoe. These don't smell worn. They smell like, you know when you walk into a chemist and you get that really weird chemically plasticky smell? They smell like that and I don't quite know why. I have never set up my camera so quickly. It usually takes me about an hour to get everything ready to go to record a video. It literally took me like six minutes because I got the box and I was just so friggin' excited. I wanted to show you guys as fast as possible. Anyway guys. I have been Norrell Merson, you have been the Mercenaries, and this has been one of my dreams fulfilled. Thank you so much for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're doing your best, no matter how much that may be. And I really, really look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching and uh, Merry Happy New Year. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh god, my legs! I'm an old man!